driving behavior or human road manners. You cannot get a driver's license until the age of 18, because people below 18 are not assumed to be sufficiently matured. The purpose of this lesson is to know the consequences of negative attitude while driving. Emotional maturity. Good driving experience and a good deal of skill. The driver must put himself or herself in the place of other road users and must be resourceful and foresighted. But it takes only a small mistake for everything to go wrong. Just a little too much pressure on the accelerator and the driver's capacity is overreached and he or she makes a mistake. The young people generally find it more difficult to rectify their mistakes. Development of moral conduct. Most children think primarily of themselves and pay a little attention to the desires and needs of others. This is known as the ego stage of development. As the child grows up, egoism gives way to an understanding that for human society to function properly there must be a set of rules. The child accepts and tries to abide by these rules. This is called the community stage. Immaturity. Immaturity helps boost the accident statistics. It makes accidents more frequent and often more severe. An immature driver who wants to demonstrate the authority or superiority takes the car as a kind of instrument with vast resources of power that will enhance the personality. Role models. Since a young driver's outlook and behavior are to a large extent fashioned by their ideals it is essential that young drivers also understand the basics of acceptable social behavior, responsibility, tolerance, and consideration for others. Today advertising, films and comic, deceptive and distortive as they often are, have made it difficult for many people to distinguish between the realities of everyday life and the exciting world of fantasy. Sadly for many young people the hero always wins. And once young people believe themselves to be invulnerable, they tend to disregard the risks they're on in traffic. Responsibility. Bear in mind that other users beside ourselves can sometimes make mistakes. In today's society is to function properly as a whole, each individual must maintain a sense of responsibility and show respect for other people. How well would the traffic flow if everyone drove accordingly to their own rules and without regard for other road user? Weak identity. Young people pass through an experimental phase before their identity gets established. At this age, it is important to establish who you are, what stand for, what you want, and what you can do. Unfortunately, out on the road this often seems to take the form of wanting to see what the car can do as well, whether it can take that sharp bend at 80 whether it can be pulled out of a skid, or whether it can be made to knock a few minutes off the time it takes to get from one place to another. Adapting to reality. The ability to predict how a given situation will develop demands experience. Poor self-control. Another important aspect of maturity is self-control. Children who lose their temper display their irritation and rage in an uncontrolled manner. They scream, they kick, they lash out at people and objects that get in their way. An uncontrolled display of aggressive behavior such as this could have disastrous results out on the road. Knowledge about yourself and your driving skills. In a survey, young people with driving licenses were asked to give a frank assessment of their driving skill in terms of their reactions, their ability to counter an unexpected skid, how they would manage an emergency situation, and so on. How well do young male and female drivers seem to know themselves the young male drivers overestimated their driving abilities to a considerable degree unlike the female young drivers. 9 out of 10 persons killed in Abu Dhabi traffic accidents are men. Experienced and inexperienced drivers. Experienced or seasoned drivers do not scan a right-hand curve in exactly the same way a left-hand one. Inexperienced or young drivers, on the other hand, tend to treat bends in the road as if they were all more or less the same. Experienced drivers also recognize more potential hazards in moving traffic, whereas young and inexperienced drivers tend to regard the traffic environment as static. Experienced drivers normally maintain better control of their vehicles in a crisis. Example, if they suddenly have to avoid an unexpected obstacle. Their speed is more constant, they accelerate less frequently, and they seldom find themselves having to apply the brakes in a panic. Inexperienced drivers take longer to react in dangers. Elderly 
drivers, elderly drivers, elderly drivers, elderly drivers are mostly experienced, are mostly experienced, experienced courteous, and considerate. considerate. Do not criticize, do not criticize them, of their them of their performance. They are usually, they are usually no, more no more dangerous in traffic than traffic most, other, most road other road users. Personality traits in certain types of bad behavior. Impulsiveness. The impulsive personality, which acts first, thinks later, is almost always out of place in traffic. Impulsiveness is often synonymous with foolhardiness, which, besides being alarming to other road users, may cause the driver to lose control of his vehicle. This sort of behavior is of typical children. Excuses. Some people experience a strong urge to blame others for their own mistakes and deny any responsibility for what has happened. And they almost always find themselves eye conflict with those whom they have irritated by making the excuses in the first place. They feel no compulsion to admit they were wrong and hence see no reason to modify their own behavior. It prevents the novice from developing as a driver and makes it much more difficult to learn from experience. To become a good driver, it is essential to acknowledge your own mistakes and recognize that out of the road there is always plenty of room for self-improvement. Repression. In day-to-day -day life, we try to push unpleasant thoughts to the side. However, in traffic, the ability to understand the reality is of vital importance. Some drivers always seem to be going without slowing down, even though they are driving in darkness. Others risk overtaking, although they know the distance they can see is far too short. Deep down inside, of course, they are perfectly aware of the risks, even though other things, like getting home in time for big match, seem more important at the time. This is known as repression and is something most drivers experience every now and then. For some it occurs often, and since it reduces the driver's awareness of danger and increases his or her tendency to take risks, the accident rate goes up accordingly. Reaction formation, just the opposite. Examples of reaction formation and how it can cause a problem to others in traffic. Many accidents have been caused by the psychological defensive mechanism, which is known as reaction formation. It occurs when a person feels an urge to cover up something unacceptable by adopting an opposite stance. Similarly, in traffic, the injuredly timid often attempt to show how bold they are. Prestige. In prestige, the underlying motive can be a feeling of superiority over other drivers. Self-assertion. For example, an immature male motorist may find himself compelled to demonstrate to his passengers that as a driver he is a man of exceptional competence. Another aspect of such self-assertion is the tendency to insist that you are right at all costs. The easier it is to trigger this behavior, the stronger the need for self-assertion that is being expressed. Learning by imitation. Some habits which you have perhaps acquired by subconsciously imitating your father or brother must now be thoroughly revised, though they are perfectly acceptable to you. Admittedly, there are times when it may not seem practical or realistic to drive the way you were taught at driving school, or even to abide by the spirit and letter of the law. Our advice here is simple, demand respect from other drivers, drive as you have been taught, and keep reminding yourself that no one can ever force you to adopt bad driving habits. The will to learn, and need to learn. We learn throughout our lives, there are many ways of learning, and the learning process may manifest itself in many different ways. However, all learning requires a positive attitude and an awareness of just what it is that needs to be learned. Superficial learning. Some people believe that they can drive without really having received in proper training. Some people have a high opinion of their own abilities, an attitude that may prove disastrous both for themselves and other road users. In-depth learning. Once you start learning in depth, you will soon understand why it is so important to accumulate as much knowledge as you possibly can. What you are actually learning is not just how to get your driving license, but how to understand the traffic mechanism as a whole, and, ultimately, how to stay alive and protect the lives of others. Overlearning. Even though you may have benefited from excellent training at a driving school, and have passed your test, you should still regard yourself as a beginner when you head out into traffic. Keeping your concentration on the road. Concentration on the road is basically what driving is all about. 
Add to this all the traffic signs, road markings and signposts you have to keep track of, not to mention the traffic hazards, both expected and unexpected, that you will probably have to deal with. Trying to do two things at once can be very risky, especially for young, inexperienced drivers. Besides keeping both hands on the wheel, it is absolutely essential to keep your eyes on the road and your mind in the traffic. Emotional problems clamoring for your attention, talking on your mobile phone, smoking, changing CDs, none of these distractions are going to boost traffic safety. Mobile phone while driving. Holding a mobile phone with one hand and driving with the other is of course not safe. Trying to dial a number on the phone while driving is very dangerous indeed. A hands-free accessory to the phone will make calling Womwat less risky, though still too advisable. Under federal law you are not allowed to use a mobile phone while driving unless you are using a hands-free set. You should never read a text message while driving. Typing one is even more dangerous. If you get a call on your mobile phone, don't answer it. Wait until you can stop safely and then call back. Stress. Stress converts mental energy into anxiety and irritational reactions. People react to stress differently. Some people produce their best performance under low stress, others at much higher levels. While some people can withstand a great deal of stress, others give up almost immediately. It should be noted, however, that not all stress is negative. A certain degree of stress can markedly improve your performance. Group pressure. Will you be able to withstand the pressure when the group starts demanding high speeds? When we are with other people we sometimes find ourselves behaving quite out of character. We do things normally would not even think of doing, at least not of our own free will. Stages of fatigue and tiredness. Studies show that fatigue, or tiredness, is responsible for a lot of motorway deaths. Your concentration will benefit greatly if you plan regular stops for rest and refreshment. This is especially important at night. The fist hint that you are getting tired is usually a feeling of disconnection and a certain slowness of thought. Next up, your reactions slow down. Soon you find yourself stifling a yawn. Fatigue is creeping up on you in stages. Illness and medicines. Check any medicine you are taking to see if they affect your ability to drive. Even medicines for coughs and fever can make you drowsy. Read the information contained inside the packet or consult your doctor or pharmacist. And be sure to follow any recommendations given. Alcohol and illegal drugs. If you drink, do not drive. If you drive, do not drink. Alcohol will reduce your ability to drive safely. Under the law, any driver of a motor vehicle found to have a blood alcohol content will lose their license and be fined and or sent to prison. Thank you for your attention. Please like and subscribe to this channel and click the bell icons to get new video updates.